going to get into the comedy part later, but I'm very interested in you, your experience of being an electrician. First of all, do you think it's a good option for people who kind of just... Because this podcast is called Immigrant Survival Cast, yeah. right? You're a Canadian, but there are a lot of immigrants who came to this country. And when I first got here, I find it really hard to get a job. Right. Because I'm from a freaking university from another country they've never heard of. Yeah. My, my English is good, but they could have hired somebody else who were born here. Like, this is working against us. Mm -hmm. So I figure for a lot of immigrants, learning their trade might be a very good idea. And yeah. some trade, like being an electrician can be, you can make pretty good money, yeah. right? Like yeah. how much, I'm not asking how much are you making, like well, an so average person. It's like anything, like I, I don't, I think the wages now, it might be 30, 35 bucks an hour. Okay. For for someone working for a company. Yeah. In, in a union well, that's company. That's pretty good. So you're talking about how much, and like, you get, like 70 medical grand and dental. a year? Yeah, yeah. 70 grand a year. Yeah. 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 Um, what for about some, for, your own business, on your own business? Uh, I, I do better than that. Like, yeah. cause I, well, first off, I mean, I don't know who's going to hear this podcast. Mm -hmm. Cash. Yeah. You want to do a lot of cash, <laughs> right? I mean, that's a huge yeah. thing Let's right there. Let's just put it right there. Uh, that's Not a gonna, massive yeah, deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, I, I charge just more money. Like, yeah. I don't know, if you if you go into onto Google and you call a bunch of contractors up, yeah. I mean, it's it's more like a hundred bucks an hour. Yeah. Right? So, so if I personally, if I do a job, mm -hmm. if, if you call me and we don't know each other and you say to me, oh, I want to put, you know, 10 new lights in yeah. my house or yeah. I want to change my pan. The way I personally um, estimate a job is I'll say, how much are the materials going to cost? Yeah. So say the materials are a thousand bucks. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, and then I don't personally, I don't, I don't add money onto the materials but yeah. most most electricians yeah, yeah, do. yeah they will quote you something higher they, they might give you a 20 percent markup yeah. on it. and then i'll say okay it's going to take me in my mind i know about how long it's going to take me to do the job so mm -hmm. say i think this is going to take me 10 hours to yeah. do yeah well i want to make 100 an hour that's what yeah. i expect to make so yeah. i'm going to say okay well that's that's 100 an hour it's going to take me 10 hours so, so two I'm, going grand. To, I'm going to charge this guy a thousand bucks okay thousand for me a thousand for the material so two grand. so two thousand okay. so that's a ten hour day. So now I only get to keep a thousand of it and the other thousand is the material. Let's cost. say somebody is five years in and has his own business and doing not yeah. fantastic, mm -hmm. but not bad. Yeah. Can this person make a hundred K? Um, yeah. In California. Yeah, as long oh yeah. As okay. long as they're but it, again that now that comes down to how much are you advertising? Yeah. What's your word of mouth? Your first couple of years it's hard because no yeah. like like what you it's just a business. what yeah. you just explained yourself. Like mm -hmm. you're new, no one yeah. knows who you are. Yeah. Um but down the road, you know. So how, or if you want to put yeah. a bunch of money in on Yelp, advertise on Yelp, you'll get a flood of phone calls. Mm-hmm. Right, but there are a lot of uh, you know competitions too. So yeah, you gotta yeah, overbid. Your so you you want to underbid them. Yeah, like do it a little bit cheaper. And do you dispatch? Do you, do you have people working for you? I used to. I don't anymore. Why? Because it's hard to find good people. Oh. Sometimes I maybe I send a guy to a house and he yeah. goes up there. And he doesn't know what he's doing. He cuts a wire. <laughs> right now I have to go in there and the people. Now I got to go in there and fix his wipe mistake. his ass. <laughs> right, right, and or and you know or. Maybe they're rude to the customer, or like it, it's hard to find good people. Be racist. <laughs> yeah, they could say something stupid, or you don't know. Uh, uh, the biggest part is that they they screw something up in the oh, house, yeah. and then I got to go back and fix it. Jeez. So, so uh, let's I'm trying to make it like a life mm -hmm. hack kind of format, yeah. right? So let's say I'm a guy mm -hmm. from some country I'm yep. here. My English is decent. Mm -hmm. I, I figure, you know, to do, of course, language is always, skills is always important. But yeah. I guess it's not as important as, let's say, you're a writer. You got to be a good, com no, it's not, it's, not like, yeah. it's not like being a stand-up comedian yeah. or a writer. You just yeah. have to basically, people just, you just have to tell them what you're going to do and how much mm -hmm. you're going to charge. And really. be look, look, reliable I mean, and trustworthy. Look, at, there, look at, there's a ton of like people that come over the southern border, yeah. like illegal people yeah. that do illegal immigrants. Yeah, that's that, a nice way to put that it, do, Mexicans. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Right. Or, or Guatemalans or yeah. Yeah. Uh, El Salvadorians or Nicaragua. Mm -hmm. Like there's tons of uh, Central America. And I mean, they do lots of, they do almost all the construction. Yeah. Fuck you. Know, I never see a white guy in a construction site here. Yeah. I'm like the only white guy I ever see doing it. I like in, Mexican people. I work with a lot of yeah. uh, Mexican contractors when I was a realtor. I, yeah. I have a termite guy, yeah. a home inspection guy. They do all of the, all the construction. Right? And those guys yeah. don't have great English. Yeah. But as long as you tell people, 
this is what I'm charging, this is what I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. People don't care if it's broken English as long as they know what, what's going on. So how do they guess, let's say, he, you know, I'm thinking about, I'm, I want to be an electrician. I don't know how to do it. Do I go to a trade school? How, how do I get started? Yeah, that's, that's how I did it. How, is the trade school uh, expensive? No. Nope. Well, like I said before, they were subsidizing it so it was free. I bet in I America, don't know if that's the case now. I mean, this was a yeah. long time ago. When but I this is, we're it. not talking about college in America, so I assume it's, it's just It's not like university. Like, it's not like you're going school. to Harvard or Stanford. How it's, long does it take for you to learn everything that um, you need to start working? And then you have to be a pre- you well, know, apprentice. That's a different course. question because what you learn in school isn't what you use yeah. Day to day. Yeah. Like what I use day to day to make money, I mm-hmm. could teach somebody in probably a couple months. Okay. A smart guy who wanted to learn. I could probably teach them most of it in two months. So but, what's your advice for somebody who want to start but don't know how to start? Like, um, I would call step up one. in this con- in, uh, yeah. country. Sorry, in this place, state, yeah. I would get someone and get them called, tell them to call a bunch of um, contractors, people okay. like me. Yeah. And say... Uh, Can I be your assistant? Yeah. And maybe maybe just... Um, Shadow? What do they call them? What do they call them here? An intern. Intern. Okay. Intern. Do it for free, but just yeah. to learn it. Which which nobody wants to work for free, but... Yeah. If you can find the right guy... Yeah. To, to teach you... Yeah. Then you could learn a lot in a yeah. hurry. And... Uh, it's, it's real world experience real world. that you can implement the, the, right the away. The problem you run into is once it comes to being licensed and bonded and insured, they mm-hmm. want you to have the schooling. Okay, so you, I guess, it's a mixture of you kind of, you have to go to some kind of school to meet the criteria of the getting the, a license, but then when it comes to execution, you have to just shadow somebody who yeah. does it for to, a long time to actually have the skill to do the work by yourself. You just need someone good to teach you. Okay, the problem is if you ever want to start your own business. Mm-hmm. That's when you need all the paper credentials. Got it. Right. Let's say you just want to work for a company. How long does it take from zero to getting somehow established? Like make a living. I'm not talking about good money. Yeah. Um, uh, a year if you're really hardworking or it takes longer than that? Well, it, depend, it depends on the company. If you can yeah. find someone cool that'll yeah. teach you. Yeah. You could, yeah. In a year, you could be really good. Okay. But... It's hard to find someone that that would be lucky because yeah. most most companies they're gonna you know they're gonna get you to do crappy work they're mm-hmm. like pick things up, pick up yeah. garbage and yeah. they're not gonna maybe show you exactly how to like the overview of how electricity comes from the the street how it comes into how it enters into a house how to ground it how to run it all the switches and plugs like there's like a big system like a closed mm-hmm. loop system yeah. You might have a tough time finding someone that's willing to sit down and teach you A to Z. Yeah. Because contractors, you know, they're, they're, they're greedy. It's yeah. like working at McDonald's. They'd want to teach you one thing and get you to do that a thousand times over yeah. to, make you, to make them the most money. Mm-hmm. To find someone that's cool enough to st- sit there and teach you everything, yeah. to really help you out, yeah. it's hard to do that. Like, yeah. I, I, none of my bosses did that. Yeah. But how uh, did you get you where you are today? Just dude, I got fired from so many companies. <laughs> I probably got fired like 20 times. Why? Because I just, I would bug them. I'd say, okay, I know how to do this. Now what's the next thing? Oh, yeah. don't worry about that. Yeah. You just stay. I mean, like, fuck this. And yeah. I, I, sometimes I'd just quit. Yeah. Then I'd go to another company and somebody else would teach me something different. Yeah. And um, I would learn that. Yeah. Then I'd go to a third company and learn some other thing. Oh my God. But I would just keep either getting fired or quitting. Why would they fire you? What's one more maybe ground? I bugged them too much. Yeah. I don't want to do this. I already know how to do this. Yeah. Or maybe I'd show up late. Or maybe one of their like like you said, like their bosses. Sometimes the bosses are crap, crack, and cranky, <laughs> and I get sick of listening to them. And you just have a little com- the comedian side of you. Yeah, I say, I'm out of here. I'll find yeah. another company. Fuck you. See you later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, and it's like comedy. Mm-hmm. It, it's everything comes down to skill. Yeah. Everything comes down to your knowledge and your skill. Mm-hmm. And I knew, I always understood that over time, as long as I become smart and mm-hmm. know what I'm doing, yeah. it doesn't matter who likes you. Yeah. You know, as long as I'm learning and getting better at what I'm doing, it doesn't matter who likes me because one day I'll be the one doing it and I'll be competing against you.